Hi friends, in this video we study about a graph of a network. So first we define what is graph. So graph is a set of points called, what do you call, nodes or vertices. Nodes or vertices connected these set of points these nodes are uh, these points are connected by what do you call a lines which are called edges right so graph is a set of points or graph comprises set of points called nodes and vertices or nodes or vertices which are connected by a lines called edges Right, let me draw a graph for example. Let us take this graph as an example. Fine. So, here you see this is our graph. Right, so here we have what is graph? It is a it contains set of points called nodes or vertices. Here we have four nodes this is node number one node number two node number three node number four so this graph contains four nodes or vertices what is edges edges are nothing but the lines which connect vertices so what are the lines which are connecting the vertices so these are all two vertices, so this is one edge. So this edge, this this connects these two vertices. So this is, let us assume it is uh, one, right? Edge one. So these two vertices are connected by this line, so it must be a uh, another edge, edge two, right? Then these two vertices are connected by another edge. So fine. So this is edge three, right? And uh, here you see these two vertices are connected by this edge 4, this is 5, this is 6. So we have 6 edges. Edges are nothing but lines which are used to connect uh, two vertices. Fine. So here we have two edges. Okay. Next. What are the things we have to know about the graph? The another thing we have to know about the graph is directed graph. What is directed graph? A graph whose branches carry arrow mark to indicate direction or orientation that is a graph with direction that is called a directed graph this arrow right so this is the graph i have drawn here is undirected graph because it doesn't carry any direction so it is undirected graph but uh, let me show the example for directed graph let us take this graph, the same graph I draw. Fine. So here you see. Let us take this graph. Here you see I have included direction. So this indicate this every branch carries direction. So it is directed graph. Fine. Okay. Next one, uh, what do you mean by degree? Degree of a graph. Degree is nothing but uh, number of branches in any vertices. Right, so what is the degree of this vertex? Here you see we have three branches. So here degree is three. 
what is the what is here here also 3 1 2 3 so here 3 here 3 so like that we can confirm degree is a number of branches incident on any graph okay any vertices not graph any vertices right next to one important parameter is connected graph as the name itself is telling a graph with continuous path connected means it should be having continuous path because with the if the, it is not continuous means there is a break so connected means there must be a continuous path so a graph with continuous path that path should go through the all the branches fine which touches all the nodes So here you see both the graphs are continuous graphs. Here it goes through all the branches, all the nodes are touched. This is also continuous graph. So these two graphs coming are coming under the category of both are continuous. Continuous graph. It is undirected but continuous. It is directed and continuous. Continuous graph and directed graph also fine so this is the meaning of continuous connected graph next we are going to see the important parameter called tree what is tree of a graph tree is a simple concept it is a subgraph of a graph so t is also a graph but what is the difference between tree and graph is but it should contain all vertices all vertices or nodes vertices are name is nodes bund it should contain all vertices and node and it should not contain any loop so it should not be a closed loop right so let us see with the example. So tree is a tree is also a graph. But what is the difference between tree and graph? Tree should be drawn from graph. So it is a subgraph and it should contain all the vertices because a graph is made up of vertices. But it should not contain loop. Let us deal with one example. Let us take this uh, graph. This is a graph. fine so here you see this is a graph here we have four vertices and six branches or six edges okay what is a tree tree should contain all the four vertices so whenever you draw the tree you must include all the four vertices of a graph so we have four vertices and they all should be connected but it should not contain any loop right please understand Graph means it should be connected by a branch. So let me draw one tree, but it should not have any loop. So here you see, I connected all the vertices. Vertices 1, 2, 3, 4 are connected. So it must be a connected graph, but there is no loop, right? So here you see all four vertices are connected. So it should contain all the four vertices of the graph all the vertices from the graph so here we have four vertices all the four are there all are connected and no loop no closed path right so there may be more than one tree in a, for any graph let me draw one more uh, tree so whenever you want to draw a tree you include all the vertices so let us see this is another tree here you see all the four are connected all the four vertices are connected but no loop right so this is it may be called tree one it may be tree two we can draw one more tree how can we draw let us take this whenever you draw a tree you take all the vertices of a graph i will draw a tree you see this one is another tree in the same manner you draw 
this is tree three fine so here we understand this is a tree so it contains all the four nodes all four nodes are connected but uh, they don't contain any loop no loop so all the conditions are satisfied tree must be tree is a graph of the subgraph of the graph it should contain all the vertices so graph means you should be having uh, edges so they should be having edges but it should not contain loop loop means closed so tree should not be having any closed path so in all the three tree that we have drawn from this uh, graph we don't have any closed path here you see t1 t2 t3 there is no closed path so this is called tree right so this is a very very important parameter we must know okay next thing we have to understand from the tree is the branches of tree are called twigs what is twigs branches of tree just in normal term we are using the branches of tree in a natural tree also it is twigs no in the same way we call branches of tree so here you see here we have four nodes see before that i say it is twig one for this this is twig two this is twig three here also twig one twig two twig three twig one twig two twig three so it is twig one this is twig two this is twig three so branches of tree is called twig so this is twig one you can use any name no problem twig three fine now you see the relationship between branches of tree how can we find number of branches of tree number of branches of tree so number of twigs is equal to n minus 1 why you see whenever we have a four nodes if all the four must be connected we should have minimum three part right you see one two three four four nodes if you want to connect all the four without uh, having a loop right we should have minimum three branch then only we can connect so what is uh, n number of twigs is equal to for our question number of nodes is four so four minus one three so it is proved here all the trees are having three twigs right so it has three twigs this has three twigs this is also having three twigs all the trees are having three twigs so number of twigs is equal to n minus one right okay this is another important point to be noted next one is co-tree co-tree we can give a uh, short form as short form of complement of tree right so complement of tree means what co-tree is also a graph subgraph but it is formed from the branches that have been let out left out in the tree so it is complementary it is formed by all branches which have been left out during the formation of tree right so let us uh, see this with a simple example our same graph we will take right so this is graph right how can we form tree just now we know the graph of the tree is this as a tree of a graph is this one all the three vertices are taken into account and all are connected so this is the tree right so this is graph this is tree what is co-tree co-tree is nothing but a complement of the tree complement of the tree means what are the branches left out these two are left out so this is co-tree right for this tree this is co-tree so from this what we are understanding if you add tree branches and co-tree branches it will give graph 
like our complement in uh, binary. What is the complement of 1? 0. 0, complement of 0, 1. Like that, complement of tree is co-tree. If you add both, what we get is original graph. Right? So, suppose if we draw the tree like this, we know for this graph, we can draw a tree like this also. Right? So, now what is co-tree? Now the co-tree is like this. This is one branch, this is another branch. And this is co-tree. Yes or no? So, if you connect all the, if you connect these two, this one plus this one, will give original graph. So, this is tree. This is co tree. So, co tree is drawn for tree, not for graph. Please understand it. Right? Okay. Next thing we have to know from this co tree concept is what is link? Link is nothing but branches of co tree. Twig is a branches of tree. Link is a branch of co tree. So, this is twig. This is twig 1, twig 2, twig 3. This is link, link 1, link 2, link 3. Yes or no? So, already we know what is uh, number of uh, twig n minus 1. So, what is the number of link? Number of link means what are the total number of branches in this tree? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes or no? So here you see number of tree, link is nothing but uh, total number of branch minus tree branches because link is a complement of a branch, a twig. So total number of branch in our system is 6, uh, right, number of tree branch 1, 2, 3. So, that is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3. Link is equal to 3. Power problem you see link is equal to 3. 1, 2, 3 links. L1, L2, L3. Yes or no? So, simply how can I write? L is equal to link. Total number of branches from the graph. In graph. Total number of branches in graph is 6 for this problem. Why? You see, here we have six branches branch 1 2 3 4 5 6 six branch so total number of branches minus number of tree branches number of tree branches is nothing but number of twigs number of twigs is nothing but n minus 1 so b minus n plus 1 so l is equal to n b minus n plus 1 simple Right, so number of links, number of trees. Okay, next uh, we have to understand uh, one more thing. So number of KVL equations required. So these three uh, graphs are drawn for network. So number of KVL equations required to solve any network problem is KVL equation is based on number of link. Right, so that is B minus N plus one. KVL equation or mesh equation. This is one important point. Whereas KCL equations are based on KCL or node equations required. Is equal to it is based on number of twigs that is n minus one. Right? So this is a very important point to be noted. KVL equation is based on number of links, uh, right? So, KCL equations are based on number of twigs, right? Okay. So, these two formulas are very important. Suppose if they ask one question like this, if uh, a graph has 10 branches, and six nodes, right? Find the number of KVL and KCL equation or mesh or node equation. What is the number of KVL equation? It is based on link. So branches is 10 minus what is nodes? 6 plus 1. So this is 5. 
This is KVL or Messi equation. What about KVL equation? KVL equation is nothing but uh, T is equal to N minus 1. That is also fine. So in that way, both are correct only. So in that way, we can solve the problem. I hope you understand uh, the basics of graph. If you have any doubt, please ask me in comment section. I will clarify. Thank you.